It's Isle of Wight Radio. Hello, good morning. Uh, Paul and Emily here for a Wednesday morning and it is time for us to play the game that everybody is talking about. Uh, there are a few people when I was in London yesterday who went, oh, watch that game you play on Facebook. Oh, that's nice. I was like, really? What, just random strangers in the street? Yeah. Yeah, loads of them. Yeah, uh, someone who lives a big house, big house, end of a very long driveway. Oh, Liz. Liz, that's Liz. it. Yeah, Liz, uh, Liz from London. Uh, anyway, it is time. For, yes, that's one. <laughs> uh, so it is time for us to play today's headline or hearsay. Scores are hotting up, aren't they, Jamie? Yeah, they are. It's one all so far this week. Is it? You pipped yesterday. I won Monday. So, yeah, I'm still in the game, which is good for a Wednesday. That is good. OK, so uh, let's do it. Is it headline or will it be hearsay? This year, thousands of us will again sit down and enjoy tucking into festive snacks. But one Midlands man has been left utterly mortified after being asked for ID when trying to enjoy an extra special range of mince pies. The luxury all-butter ones contain a small amount of port and brandy. And the shopper, Mervyn Walker, was shocked when he was denied a sample at the taster stall at a supermarket. The supermarket in question confirmed you don't need to be over 18 to buy them and that ID should only be required for sampling purposes when it's liquid alcohol. OK. What Headline about, or hearsay. What about liqueur chocolates? No, you can't I get those. I think you have to be yeah, over 18, to, don't you? You have to be over 18 for that. What about mm. wine gums? You all right with those? That's just being silly. Ah. Well, well, you can't check these things. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I don't. <clears throat> do you think? Do you think maybe it was just somebody who was like, right? He keeps coming back. Yeah, he's he's had almost a whole pie. He's now. had three different hats on. Yeah. Was it you, Paul? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Uh, mince pie. Oh, I don't, oh, don't oh, mind. I don't mind if I do. I just try one of these because I may be interested <laughs> in becoming a customer and purchasing. <laughs> said packet. Uh, Liz Webb says it's headline. Haley Newby says headline. Julie Hollister says headline this morning. Uh, Marion says headline. Emma says headline. Kelly says headline. Uh, Kirk says morning. On my way to Edinburgh. Oh, there you go. Very good. Uh, so, what do you think? Is it headline or is it hearsay? Which one are we going with? Facebook says headline. I don't disagree. Dawn Hitchcock, though, says hearsay. Headline. We're going headline, Sorry, Jamie. Dawn. It is a headline. Oh. Correct. Oh, fantastic. There you go. That means we're in the lead. Here comes the next one. Quiche is just an underachieving distant relative of pizza scientists have discovered. Researchers found that quiche shares 98% of pizza's genetic material, but has never been quite as popular for whatever reason. The amount of egg in the ingredients is the biggest difference, but scientists say just a couple of tweaks and the foods would be almost identical. Headline oh, or hearsay. Oh, like, hold that on That shouldn't minute. be a story. I hope that's hearsay. Because... If somebody has actually tried to work out the genetic differences between a pizza and a quiche... <laughs> oh, one is full of egg. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of an egg on a pizza. Basic, I think that's a bit weird. Basically, one is a, a fat omelette in a pie, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, and it's different pastry. Like, a quiche is like short crust pastry, isn't it? Yes. Not a dough. That's got to be rubbish, but I sort of think... Hayley thinks it's hearsay. Marion says hearsay. Joan says hearsay. Julie says PP is uh, per procuation. We were talking about this <laughs> earlier on. Uh, do, do, do you know what PP is? No. When you sign a letter for someone else and you put PP. Oh, that's what it means. PP, and then you write your name. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. But didn't know what it means. Yeah, well, we don't thanks, Goog Julie. We don't Google it. <laughs> no. no. Uh, Dawn idea. says hearsay. Um, Emma says headline. Julie says, uh, I can, oh, uh, Kishcha. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you can read that. <laughs> can so, read the are clue. we going headline or hearsay? It's got to be hearsay, hearsay hasn't it? Yeah. Got to be hearsay. Well, you'll be surprised to learn it's actually hearsay. Yeah. yeah well done. Ah. The genetic differences between. Hold on a minute, I've just noticed right on the Facebook feed, I've gone really small. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello! Tiny! Hello! <laughs> Hold on a moment. 
hold on a moment. There we try that. Uh, right. If I go like that, can I like poke? You? Yeah. Your well, head? yes, yes, you can. Please stop it. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Last one. Uh, what's the score? Two now. <clears throat> oh, right, OK, yeah, so Jamie's lost, so we're doing this for fun. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen has come to the aid of six tourists who dressed up as Borat in Kazakhstan and got themselves arrested. The Czech holiday makers were wearing nothing but bright green mankinis, the revealing swimwear made famous by the 2006 character and movie Borat. After the group posted for, uh, posed for photos in the capital city, police intervened and they were each fined around £50. After the news circulated... Baron Cohen caught wind of it and posted on Facebook to my checkmates who were arrested, send me your details and proof it was you and I'll pay your fine. <laughs> Headline or hearsay? Oh, I don't know. Where was this? In the Czech Republic. Uh, sorry, in Kazakhstan. Ah, but the tourists okay. were from the Czech Republic. Oh, a bit of extra detail there. Interesting. Mm. Mm. I think this could be true, although I don't think you want to start paying people's bills. Can I just Baron say, Cohen. Emma Elliott has just commented saying that on Facebook Live today, I look like one of the borrowers. <laughs> <laughs> we just put Paul in this little box. <laughs> Help me! Let me out! <laughs> If I hold my hands up like that. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, headline or hearsay? Uh, or... Brent thinks it's headline. Gemma says headline. Emma says headline. Ross says headline. Julie says hearsay. Marion says headline. Haley says headline. Sarah, Sarah says hearsay. So what are we doing? Headline or hearsay? I don't know. Headline? Let's go headline. It is a headline. Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Oh, Sorry, brilliant, Jay. brilliant. Uh, can I just say that all of a sudden I have increased in size on the screen. Uh, if you're watching this on Facebook or watch it on demand later and you can see just how technically <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> this is. It's like you're a tiny little mouse. <laughs> Not now. Oh, oh, hello. Not now. <laughs> Take it over Not now. now. <laughs> anyway. It's quarter to eight. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Thank you to everybody on Facebook. Uh, and uh, we'll do it again tomorrow. Same time, same... What are you looking at? I was looking at the, uh, the, the box that you're in just there. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, if you could look up at me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, we're back with Headline or Hearsay. Same time, same place tomorrow. Uh, news headlines and the travel news are next on Isle of Wight Radio. After this, from Gabrielle. This is Dreams.